Hey what's going on guys Tanmay here for Telusco Learnings and welcome back to another video tutorial on jQuery UI and this is the ongoing tutorial series on JavaScript for beginners wherein we started off with plain JavaScript then we moved on to jQuery core library and now we are on jQuery UI so if you've been following this tutorial series that is this entire playlist in the previous couple of video tutorials we've seen quite a lot of user interface widgets that jQuery UI provides us by default which we can directly use and you must have noticed that we are following a similar pattern that is we have inbuilt jquery methods so directly calling that one single method we are able to generate that entire user interface for example we did accordion we did date time picker we did that auto complete message box we also did a dialog or message box separately and so on right so there are quite a few more widgets but they also follow the similar pattern you know so i'm not going to be covering all the widgets so if you have noticed that trend that is creating the inbuilt methods I'm pretty sure you can easily cover all the other widgets so I'm not going to be covering all the widgets in this entire playlist because then that becomes very repetitive so this is their official jquery ui web page and I'm going to drop the link in the video description and these are the widgets that they provide by default and you can go through each one of them and it will be just one line of code the one method and that widget will be generated for example let's take a look at this tabs one which we have not yet covered so if you see if you go on this and you'll see the user interface this is how the tabs look like and if you just click on view source this is that source so you can see a division id is given tabs we have an ordered list which actually is the title of the tabs so this is that title and then we have the divisions which have the individual paragraphs with their respective ids and those ids are linked over here in href and in the script tag it's a very basic selector which selects this entire division of tabs the id is given as tabs and you just call a method tabs and that's that's about it you can get this entire user interface so this is something that we've been following for all the widgets right so that's the reason why i'm not going to be covering all the widgets because again as i mentioned it will become repetitive and if you followed the date picker if you've seen the accordion if you've seen the auto complete we also saw the dialog box then pretty much all the other widgets are also the same you just have to select that particular division or the input text box if you want a auto complete thing or a date picker and then you just call the inbuilt method right so you can visit this website the documentation is fairly easy to understand but my focus today in this video tutorial is i got a question that one of the user was asking me that yes we can easily create this user interfaces just by one single method right inbuilt method but what if we want to change the options or change the customizations afterwards later in the code depending on one particular event for example Let's actually go to the code and I'll try to explain to you what exactly the question was. Okay, so coming to the code, let me just explain this output. I have added a button. We have a heading tag. I have created a calendar control. I have created an accordion over here. And you can see this is a message box also. So I have created three jQuery UI widgets over here. And each of them have their respective HTML code and their respective jQuery UI inbuilt methods, right? So these are the three inbuilt methods also. So this is for the panels, which means that this is for the accordion. This is for the message box and this is for the date time picker or date picker or calendar control, whatever you call it. Now the question arises is what if you want to change something? For example, let's say something is happening and let's say you interact with the website and now the user wants more number of months over here. Okay, so let's say on the click of this change button, the user wants that one more month should show up over here. Right now we have created this entire date picker with number of months as one. What if you want to change it dynamically afterwards, right? After the initialization. So this was that question asked and I thought that this should be answered. So the way we change the customization options. So these are called options or parameters or whatever you call it. The way we change it after you have created is by using the concept of getter and setter methods. Okay. So the getter methods usually get these values. For example, if I click on this button, I want to know how many number of months this calendar control has. Right now, initially we have set it to one, right? So let's say on the click of this button, we want an alert box to show up and we want to see this number value one. That is how many number of months we have or on the click of this button, we want to set some value. So in that case, we want to change this value to two, three or four or whatever number of months we want. And that goes to getter method. Okay. So we have individual setter and getter methods for all these different jQuery UI widgets. And that's how dynamically you can change it later in time in the code. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly create a click event for this change button. So in the script inside the ready function inside this ready function, I'll just hit enter. I'll just select this button. So what is the button ID? Let me just see. 
so the button id is action btn so here i'm gonna say dollar hash action btn that's how you use the selectors i'm gonna say dot click inside i'm gonna say function and now here i'll just put a alert just for testing purpose so let's click on the button and there you go our alert is working okay so now the idea is first we want to know what is the height of this message box okay so this is that custom message box and we have the height as 300 we have the width as 300 right so let's let's say on the click of the button the user wants to know the height right now we are just assuming this use case obviously the user in general wouldn't want to know the height and width but we just want to know how we can do it right so coming to their documentation let's go to the dialog box so this is that api documentation which means that this would be a detailed documentation of this dialog box widget over here we will have all the options all the methods and all the events okay so if you go through this this is a very nicely written documentation typically documentation is difficult to understand but i feel this one is much easier and the way we change as i mentioned is by using the getter and set setter method so if you come down let's let's actually go to the height option let's click on it and you'll be taken to that height option now here you can see the getter and setter method for that particular height option okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just actually literally going to copy this come to our code in the click function or click method i'm going to paste it over here now remember the selector is always going to be our own custom selector so in this case the selector is going to be for this custom message box so the id over here for this dialog box the our message box is this hash message box right so we have to use this only over here it was a dialog box so we have to call the same method but here what you can see is in the parameters what i'm passing is i'm not passing curly braces curly braces were passed initially over here when we created this message box right now what i'm saying is for the dialog box in the options i want to know what is the height okay so the first one is always going to be option and the second parameter is the parameter that you want to know so this is the height right and this height is now stored in a local javascript variable over here and now let's say i want to alert it out so i'm going to say alert height okay so this was basically we using getter method okay getter method is used to fetch some information from the existing user interface or ui modules so now if i click on change there you go you can see i'm getting the height as 300 so i hope you are understanding this now let's say you want to increase this height okay increase this height to 500 pixels so in this case you have to use the setter method so let's go to the documentation again what is given is we are using the same selector we are calling the same method dialog but here in the parameters we are passing three parameters we are saying option then the name of the option that is height and the value of the option which is 400 so if i copy this come to our code paste it over here and in the selector i'm gonna use our selector obviously I'll just comment this getter thing and here I'm going to say 600 as the height. Okay. Now if I click on this change, there you go. You can see the message box height has doubled, which is become 600 in pixel. So this is how you can manipulate pretty much all these options. So you can say draggable equals to false. So basically this is the setter method, right? Now I'll just copy this. I'll just paste it over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say option, but in the option, I'm going to say draggable, copy this, paste it over here. And obviously you can see over here, it is accepting a Boolean value that is true or false. So you have to pass false over here. Now, initially you can see the custom message box can be dragged. Let's click on this button. And now you can see, I'm not able to drag this. I'm able to resize this because it is resizable. And I can make that false also. So I'll just copy this, paste it one more time. Just use this option name, pass this option name and make it false. Right now you can see it is draggable, it is resizable. So now let's click on this button. Now there you go, you can see I'm not able to drag this, I'm not even able to resize this now. I can only dismiss it. So you can see I have manipulated the entire dialog box or message box afterwards on the click event using this setter and getter method strategy and this is something that is applicable to all the jquery ui widgets okay so this i just showed it on message box 
you can pretty much do this similar to this for the panels you can do it for the date input also so let me just quickly show it to you so i'm just going to copy this i'm commenting everything out i'm going to paste it once i'm going to come up over here take this id that is date input and what we'll do is we'll change the number of months okay so i'm going to paste it over here and of course we have to use the same method name okay so the date input method name is date picker so we have to use this same thing but the internal parameter is pretty much remain the same for all the widgets that is the options the option name so in this case the option name is number of months i'll copy this paste it over here and the value is a numeric value right number of months has to be between 1 to 12 so let's say it is 2 so this structure that is the number of parameters for a setter method is always going to be option the option name and the value of that option for getter method it is only going to be option and the option name and that value can be stored in the lhs into a variable depending on what type of value it is if it is an integer value you can have an integer variable and then we don't even have to worry about the variable data type because in javascript it is loosely typed right anyways coming to the setter method let's click on change and there you go you can see now one more month has been added february over here on the right if i just make it a little large there you go you can see one more month has been added on the right hand side by using this same date picker method but we passed in different parameters okay so that's it for this video guys i just wanted to show you how you can change the different options after you have created them depending on particular situation so here we did it on a click event you can do it on pretty much any event on the user interface whatever is happening and then you can disable different jquery ui widgets you can hide them you can change the sizes you can add or subtract different properties from them and what not so yeah that's it for this video guys i'm going to wrap it up over here if you like this video please give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments how this video was do share it with your friends and i'll see you guys in the next video peace